Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Odd Legend, and we are going to be playing a Rift Battle today. Uh, but first, Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to collect this double relic and pop it open before we get into the video here itself. Uh, yeah, Happy Mother's Day to you all, and today to celebrate, I'll be playing with uh, only female characters. I mean, I would play with only mothers, but I'm pretty sure most of the cast does not uh, canonically have any children. <clears throat> I'd say maybe except like, maybe except like Valentine or Parasol. Uh, but yeah, I would say most of them don't have any children. So uh, we're gonna just be going with solely female characters today and wrapping up the first part of this map here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content lately. I have not been posting as much as I should. So hopefully I can get back on some of things soon. But yeah, I am definitely gonna be bringing um, Red Velvet here because, wait, oh, they're not leading, oh, they're leading Xenomorph, huh, okay, I'm not gonna bring, bring in Red Velvet, I'm gonna bring in, who am I gonna be bringing, I'm gonna be bringing, this is a bit of a tricky note, I think I'm gonna bring Raw Nerve first, basically my plan here is just to kill the Xenomorph with Raw Nerve and then switch out to the Assassin's Creed to fight his Assassin's Creed, because if I end up getting permanent bleed from killing Xenomorph on my Assassin's Creed, then his will never die because he'll constantly regen health. Oof. Okay. Crab. Uh, shoot, okay. Uh, this is... Okay, this is tough. I have to... Oh, come on. There, good. Finally, she committed against my block there, so I can start a combo chain against her. And don't I don't really mind using block buses against her because, of course, uh, it triggers bleed on me, and that means that I get regen. So, okay, she's gonna. Oof! How did she manage to get that through? That sucks. Okay, swing on my block again. Good. Uh, we're gonna get her with a light four here into a. Oh, sick. Okay, well. Um, thankfully, the stun activated before. Uh, the, before the combo was over, or wait, before the combo was over? Stun active before the, um, the heavy regen was over, so it didn't reproc the heavy regen. Does this combo? No, I forgot if it did or not. Hopefully she doesn't tag out here. That would be best case scenario. Nice, okay, solid. That's good. Uh, now I'm just gonna wait for double to commit and punish her with a hard counter venom. And that's gonna be game. Hey, solid. Okay, good. That's what I wanted out of that. Um, <clears throat> oh no, 50 or more gifts owned. I'm gonna have to go give some away. Uh, yeah. So that was a good, that was a solid win. I was expecting a little bit more trouble because putting a weak Xenomorph in front of a, in front of a, um, Valentine is total bait, honestly. It's such bait, it, and I've fallen for it a few times because you end up uh, you end up killing Xenomorph, and then she gives you permanent bleed, and then the permanent bleed procs Assassin's Creed's uh, special ability, and she never dies, basically. Okay. Um, Frost Armor. Okay, this is also going to be really annoying to deal with. We're going to go with Toad Warrior and Bloodbath, making sure to rest the ladies again. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Big Band and Beowulf, you are excluded from today's video. <laughs> Okay, uh, she's gonna hit me there. Immediately grab her. We're just gonna try to do as much damage as we can through grabs because they can't crit and proc the modifier and that's exactly what happened. Good, she goes down fast. And also we were lucky that she didn't bleed us there. So much appreciated, much appreciated Twisted Metal. Okay, this should, oof, wait, is this gonna kill? Jab one to make sure it does. Okay, good, yeah. That killed for sure. Solid uh, diamond drop right there, putting uh, Silent Kill out of her misery. Wait, didn't I just give a bunch of gifts though? Didn't I just go give a bunch of gifts or am I... Why does he keep saying that I have 50 gifts? Did I just brain fart and take a bunch of gifts and not give them? Yep, that's what happened. I didn't give gifts out. Oof, okay, yeah. uh, there you go. Everyone gets a few gifts. Now I can keep getting more gifts. All right, back into it. Sorry for that interruption. We're gonna go on to the uh, Doublelicious node. Now, normally I think I'd probably wanna use um, 
heavy metal, but I can't because he's a dude, and we're um, we're going Mother's Day theme today, so probably going to go with Windswept, and hopefully I can kill her pretty easily. <laughs> okay, um, Windswept is hopefully going to take out double issues here, okay. Uh, light 5, Launcher, can we just go straight into it? Sick, okay, that's good, that's good for sure. Oh, my cat is here. <laughs> Say hi to the video, Kenny. Say hi to the video, Kitty. He wants to scratch me. Never mind. Never mind. He wants to scratch me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Diva, I believe. Diva, um, huh. Probably D.Va, yeah. Uh, D.Va and Untouchable? No. I'm gonna go with Beyond Forever. Yeah, Beyond Forever is a bit safer. Let me see, they have Scratching Post, I'm sure, right? Yeah, shoot. I really wanna go Big Band, but I can't, so... Beyond Forever and... This is a tough pick, to be honest. This is a really tough pick. You know what? No, nope, we're going Buzzkill, because if they crit me, then Buzzkill will survive it, because she has Grudge Marquee, so... We're going buzzkill to try to counteract the scratching post. And we're just going to do our best to get them right out the gate here instead of letting them build up the, um, the scratching post traps. Okay, good. It's going to be... Oh, hi, kitty. I'm recording. No. No. The cat is sabotaging me by climbing on top of my phone. <laughs> okay. Got her there. That's good. I swear to God, my cat is standing on my head now, or he's trying to. He, he wants me to lose, but we're we're not gonna let him. Uh, we're not gonna let him win. We get the victory there, and that's solid. Okay, good. Um, huh? Did that? All right, good. I think we're gonna do maybe one more node or two more nodes. Yeah, I think two more nodes. This one we are gonna take on with, shoot, Great Escape Philia. We are probably gonna go with Double and, uh, shoot. I think Double counts as a mother, yeah, because they put her as the um, as the mascot for today. So yeah, we'll go with her. Double and Jin Frizz. Wait, no, not Jin Frizz. Mm, I need someone with regen. I need someone with regen. Maybe, maybe, um, Here's Bloodbath already, shoot. Huh. I'm gonna go with Squiggly and also... Squiggly and also I think I will go with... Inner Pieces. Inner Pieces, why not? Yeah, I'm probably not gonna use her at all. It's probably just gonna be Squiggly soloing, so... Why not bring Inner Pieces? I just need someone to, um, to heal and tank up all the damage that's gonna come out from these two Philias. Good, get the grab off. Now we can charge up. Of course, she's not gonna fall for it twice because now the AI is smart. Uh, AI never used to be this smart, but we are gonna steal her in rage, which is good. And train that right into the uh, dragon drop. That should be a kill on her right off the gate. Uh, Dreadlocks is gonna get dumb, be dumb and get thrown. We're just gonna go for a knockback attack to keep her in the corner. Get our charges up. We're trying to finish her with a BB-3 here. So we need to get a little bit more meter for that to happen. Oop, that did not combo like I wanted it to, but this should kill. Okay, solid, nice. That's a sick finish there. Uh, I'm gonna take her out, no worries there. Actually, Sweetly worked way better than I thought she would. I was honestly expecting her to kind of take a lot of recoil, but she did fantastic with that self-healing ability. I mean, I don't know why I doubted her, because it's Bio. Bio is like the most broken character in the game. Well, not exactly, but she's really good. She's definitely top three in my opinion, so. Bio is insane, so I don't know why I doubted her, but she did fine. So yeah, no worries on that front. Imminent threat. This could go bad really fast. Do I have any moves on Brain Freeze? I do. Not great moves, but we're gonna go with Brain Freeze against Imminent Threat Parasol. The only thing we have to do is not get hit. I mean, it sounds pretty simple for, for just about any match, just not get hit and you'll be okay, but... Oh, okay, we... 
That's a rip. We start out the gate literally getting hit. And we also lost so much health so quickly. I can't believe it. <laughs> Cringe. Cringe. I'm cringing at myself. Sucking terribly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the L there. That went bad so fast. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I just started right out the gate getting hit. Um, I don't know what the heck I was doing. Okay. Regroup. Try that again. Different fighter. Parasite weave. As long as I don't get hit, I will be fine. But yeah, if I just get tapped, touched by like one light five, I will be screwed because imminent threat plus somersault is a deadly combo. So much damage. Okay, she's not gonna get stunned. Will she fall for the grab? She will. This might be it. Yep, there we go. All right, well, quick turnaround there. Uh, I'm happy about that, but I, I really wish I'd gotten that on my first try instead of, yeah, like having to lose. I hope I don't actually end up losing the rift battle. I've dropped so much, I really shouldn't be losing to anyone around this range anymore, but just because I've dropped from not playing, but I don't know. I mean, it can always happen if I do really badly, so. Let's hope that I do well, to be precise. Okay, this is scary as heck, because she's probably gonna have a uh, phaser or whatever that other thing is, Theonite Beam, and she can just like take 80% of my health. Oh, sick, wait, she doesn't. That's really good. I thought she was going to have one of her long range laser attacks, which means once she gets unblockable attacks, she can just like yeet, yeet all of my health from across the stage, basically. That's what Robo Fortunes love to do. Um, with the, especially with the 2B precise combo, it gives them the overclocked Robo Fortunes, it gives them their unblockables so quickly, uh, their unblockable attacks so quickly that they just love to yeet you from across the stage with them. Uh, if they have the, if they have the long range. Uh, beam move. Gonna trap her and block there and go for the finish. Double charge attack to kill in style. Okay, that's probably gonna be the video. I will pull together another one uh, on the top three nodes, so stay tuned for part two. Uh, I think that will be it. Yeah, let's check out how he's doing before we finish the video. Okay, I'm in trouble. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. This could go either way. He has also lost one of my nodes once, so we'll see how it goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video, and I'll be back with more content soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace.